Humans learn manipulation tasks from a small number of visual observations and generalize to categorical objects. However, the state-of-the-art visual imitation learning approaches either require a lot of demonstrations or do not generalize well, especially when the objects have large shape and pose variations. In this paper, we provide human demonstration videos recorded from a third-person perspective using an RGBD camera. For example, in the pouring demonstration videos, we observe variations in object shape, pose, and trajectories. We then represent the functional parts of the kettle by key points and describe their motions and geometric constraints in the local frames of the cup. To address this problem, we propose a novel key point based visual imitation learning approach. It consists of two parts. The principal constraint estimation jointly extracts the local frames, key points, their motions and constraints from the demonstration videos, and then the key point based admittance controller reproduces the learned task on the robot. First, we collect a few human demonstration videos and obtain the relevant objects using the mask RCN model. We start with a pre processing step by randomly sampling a color and a depth image pair from the demonstrations as a reference to extract the point clouds, from which we sample candidate points for each object as their canonical shape. We then use DenseObjectNet to compute the descriptor for each candidate point from the RGB image. The spatial scale of each object is the maximum distance between all possible point pairs. We use the correspondence function to get the trajectories of all candidate points in the video and then determine the master-slave hierarchy using motion sequencing detection. Then we propose to only extract the local frames for the master objects and the key points for the slave objects. To do so, we first define the canonical local frame on the canonical shape, which takes the candidate points on the teacup as the origin and the 50 neighboring points as references to determine its orientation. Their descriptors allow us to identify them in another image frame. To find the local frame, we minimize the overall square distance of the observed candidate points to their references. We align the candidate local frames to create a common viewpoint and learn cables task representations using PCE. It jointly extracts the time steps, the local frames, the key points, their geometric constraints and the movement primitives. In 3D space, a geometric constraint can be a point, a line, a plan, a curve, or a surface, which can be modeled as principal manifolds. We use the linear ones to define point-to-point, -point, point to line and point-to-plan constraints, and estimate them by PCA. The nonlinear ones define point-to-curve and point-to-surface constraints and can be estimated by the principal manifold estimation algorithm. Such geometric constraints allow extrapolation of the key points target positions on the principal manifolds. Depending on the number of demonstrations, we propose distance and variance-based criteria in the PCE framework. This allows Kivo to learn tasks from a single demonstration and update the learned tasks when more demonstrations are available. Finally, we apply hierarchical agglomerative clustering to further remove redundancy in Kivo's task representation. Since the sparse set of key points, constraints, movement primitives are defined in an object-centric manner, they are viewpoint invariant and embodiment independent. This facilitates skill transfer from the demonstrator to the robot. For example, Kivo learns a point-to-point -point and a point-to-curve constraints from 11 demonstrations of the pouring task. The movement primitive of the point-to-point -point constraint are learned from candidate trajectories. For a non-point-to-point -point constraint, we try to mimic the demonstrated motion to approach the constraint in its orthogonal direction. The movement primitives for key 2 are learned from the trajectories in the orthogonal direction to the principal curve, as shown in this animation. While allowed manifold, we allow extrapolation but also control the key point as close to the demonstrated target as possible. Therefore, this decomposition balances the imitation and the extrapolation. We finally reproduce the tasks on the robot using a key point based admittance controller. It handles a set of key points and assigns higher priority to a point to point constraint, as it is more restrictive than the others. 
And for multiple point-to-point -point constraints, key one is usually the contact point and has higher priority. We also keep the same decomposition strategy in the controller as learning the movement primitives. We evaluate our approach using the following six daily tasks and extract Kivos task representations from 1, 3, 4, 5, and 11 demonstrations respectively, and then reproduce them on the robot 20 times for each case. We finally measure the success rate, control accuracy, precision, and give an insight into whether a learned task is generalizable. Given three demonstrations of the clean table task with viewpoint mismatch, Kivo first aligns the candidate local frames to create an aligned common viewpoint. In the common viewpoint, the geometric constraints become clear. The reproduction by the robot can be conducted from a new viewpoint. Therefore, Kivo handles viewpoint mismatch in both demonstrations and the reproductions. In the next, for clarity, we only present the results of other tasks in the aligned common viewpoints. Given 1, 3, and 4 demonstrations of the press button task, Kivo's task representation is shown in the lower left corner of each subtask and in the table. It is adapted to a new scene and overlaid on the execution video. Since the constraints learned from a third-person view in the case of 1 and 3 demonstrations are not reachable by the robot without moving to the other side of the table, it failed almost every time. With four demonstrations, Kivo learns a point-to-point -point constraint. This corresponds to the contact point on the button, which is the only required constraint to reproduce this task. Therefore, it is generalizable and reaches a 90% success rate. Similar task representations are learned for the fetch tissue task, where the point-to-point -point constraint is used to represent the grasping point on the tissue and we got a 100% success rate, even with visually very different tissue boxes. We evaluate Kivo's extrapolation ability in handling large shape variations in the insertion task. Here we demonstrate the case with a short, a long, and an extra long stick, with a maximum length difference of 30 cm. In a one-shot imitation learning setup, Kivo learns three point-to-point -point constraints and adapts the task to a new stick. We see that Kivo handles the shape variation to some extent and still results in a collision in the extra long case. If we remove the priority, the success rate drops from 62% to 25%. We also notice that the contact point on the short stick is not reached and the collision in the extra long case is more acute. If we provide more than three demonstrations, Kivo's task representation converges to a point-to-point -point and point-to-line constraints. This also aligns with our intuition. And in fact, this also results in a very high success rate, even if without a priority. However, the control accuracy and precision decrease when we remove the priority. Theoretically, Kivo deals with arbitrary lengths of sticks with such a task representation, therefore it is generalizable. We demonstrate how Kivo incrementally updates the learned task when we increase the number of demonstrations. Learned from a single demonstration, Kivo can already reach a 95% success rate while adapting to different teacups. However, we still consider it not generalizable because the target pose of the kettle is fully constrained. It may still cause a collision like the insertion task with an extra long stick. With the three demonstrations, Kivo learns a point-to-line constraint in addition to a point-to-point -point constraint, which may result in a collision in some cases, so both cases are not generalizable. With four and eleven demonstrations, Kivo replaces the point-to-line constraint with a point-to-point -point and a point-to-curve constraint respectively. This either constrains the cattle to be vertical or aligns the bottom on the curve. These task representations generalize very well to different situations and thus achieve a higher success rate. We show more examples of how Kivo generalizes to kettles of large shape variations. In the hanging task with a slightly deformable head, Kivo handles shape variations in both the master and the slave objects. In one short imitation learning setup, the robot places the head with always the same target pose, while in the three demonstration case, thanks to the pose and shape variations in the head, 
Kivo removes unnecessary point-to-point -point constraints and keeps only one, which is sufficient for this task. And the target pose may vary according to its initial pose. Therefore, the pose and shape variations in the demonstrations play an important role in learning generalizable task representations from a small number of demonstrations. All the quantitative evaluations and detailed explanations are presented in our paper. For more visualizations of the evaluation results and the source code, please check our website.